Today we're going to talk about the top programming languages that you should learn in 2019. Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. Today I want to let you guys know that this video is brought to you by Pluralsight. Please check the link in the description if you guys are interested in learning more about some of the technologies that we talk about today. They have a course for just about every single tech that we talk about in this video. So we compiled this list based on other lists that we have found out on the internet, technologies that have really come into play a lot within this the year of 2018, and what we see going forward within 2019 that should be much larger than it has been in 2018. So with this list, these are all jobs that actually should be making you well over that $100,000 a year if you have the years of experience required with these roles. Now, please keep in mind, just because you go out and do one of these coding boot camps doesn't mean that you're gonna go out and make $100,000 a year learning one of these languages. Could it happen? Sure, anything can happen and anything is possible. But let's get right into this list right now. Number five, C++. If you guys are interested in learning anything about building applications, operating systems, games, or any type of medical technology, C++ is the programming language for you. This is a great language that could definitely pay dividends for you if you can learn this within the next couple of years. The next language on our list coming in at number three is Swift. And anytime you guys think about Apple or iOS devices from now on, I want you guys to think about Swift. Swift was initially kind of developed by Apple for Apple devices. It's also kind of somewhat used with Linux, but isn't Mac OS really developed kind of with Linux, Unix, whatever anyway? Like, and aren't they all almost so closely identical to each other anyway? Now don't, don't comment and be like, well, they're so completely different because this, this, and this. They are relatively very, very similar to each other. Don't get me wrong. I understand why they're different, but they are very similar. Seriously, they are. Number two on our list is JavaScript. If you wanna do anything that is web development related, JavaScript is going to be one of those languages that's going to be still high in need for a very long time to come. It's one of those client-side scripting languages that really, it, it's used everywhere. Over 90% of the websites, probably like 99% of websites out there use some form of JavaScript to host some type of application or some type of service out on the internet. There's a lot that you could be doing with JavaScript right now. And again, that's another one of those languages that if you could become a pro in that language, you could be making a lot of money. So look into JavaScript if you like web development. And the last language on our list coming in at number one, this, if you can really become an expert in this language, and I mean really dive deep into this and really figure out the nuts and bolts of this, you can definitely be very valuable in the IT field. And this language is Python. Python is everywhere. It's being used literally in every environment that I have seen, talk to people about, they are using Python to do some type of automation, some type of GUI development, um, really heavily used to in automation and AI development and things like that. Python has just exploded in the last couple of years. And it's only going to keep getting bigger and bigger with the amount that people are putting into it and really trying to starting to discover what it can do. So if you guys are really looking for a language that is kind of across the board, that isn't really defined by one type of specific operating system or really one specific technology, Python could be that language for you because it is cross-platform, meaning you can use Python on Mac OS, on Linux, on Windows, and the code is all relatively the same unless you're calling different functions from each individual operating system. The code functions the same. So no matter what OS you're on, you're pretty much solid with using Python. So if you guys want to make good money, I'm saying like relatively good money, Python is definitely going to be a great language that you should be learning come 2019. So I hope you guys enjoyed this list that we put together of the top four programming languages that you should be learning in 2019. They're also probably going to be the top four programming languages that are going to make you the most money. Now, please, again, keep in mind that you will need a few years of experience before you're making that top dollar amount with some of these languages. Is it possible to take one of these boot camps and make a ton of money like we said earlier? 
anything is possible. But please don't expect that all the time, every time. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, hit me up in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. And if you have anything else for me, let me know also. That's all I got for you guys. As always, take it easy.